I finally ordered researchchem.store's injectable ecdysterone. So what I have found with ecdysterones in general is if you have a high enough effective dose, you're gonna have some telltale signs that it's working. Number one, amazing pumps in the gym and in the bedroom. Number two, long-term, you're gonna notice more nutrient partitioning, some recomping basically. Ecdysterone sensitizes the insulin receptors in the muscle, which drives more nutrients into the muscle where we want them and less of them end up where we don't want them. But also very telling in the short term is, is if you take ecdysterone in a high enough dose before you go to sleep, you're gonna have some vivid dreams. And it's, it's a wild ride. It is a telltale sign that you've got real ecdysterone. I took two shots of this and for research purposes. Uh, subcutaneous, uh, half a milliliter, and then a half a milliliter on the other side, pretty much right before bed, within an hour or so of bed, okay? Now normally, this would give me crazy night, not nightmares, but just extra vivid, extra detailed dream. So I did my two shots, which is, you know, as we can see here, that is 10 milligrams per milliliter, okay? And we've got 20 milliliters in the bottle and it costs $50, okay? So I did my two shots. What happened? Well, number one, I can tell you there was absolutely no noticeable pump, okay? Um, let's just say I was heading to bed, no help, right? Number two, no crazy dreams, no vivid dreams, no noticeable difference whatsoever. So I thought, well, it's been a while since I've used my topical ecdysterone in a similar way. So I took my topical, made sure it was micron filtered and sterile and put it in the appropriate container out of the topical bottle and into my research purposes only bottle. And I took 0.4 milliliters of mine. Now keep in mind, because mine is complex with hydroxypropyl beta cyclodextrin, it has greater water solubility. So mine is not 10 milligrams per milliliter. It's 100 milligrams per milliliter, all right? So I took a shot, same time, an hour before bed, went to bed. I woke up in the middle, in the middle of my night, I'm a late sleeper, I woke up and I had had the most vivid dreams <laughs> I've had in so long. And I walked into the bathroom at, to take a leak, you know, half groggy and still head reeling from this dream. And I go to take a pee. Now, full disclosure, I ate two donuts that night. So I had a little better pump than normal. I'm sure they kind of did their work, the fat and the carbs. But remember, ecdysterone is an enhancer. It's not like a steroid. It really isn't. It's more along the lines of a growth hormone or a peptide it's in in its actions and it's in the way that it helps you right i look in the mirror after i get done taking a leak and washing my hands and i had the greatest pump you can imagine like my my rear delts suck okay but i just turned to the side and looked at him and i had a pump in my rear delts i've been sleeping so uh again 40 milligrams versus you know, 10 milligrams. Uh, so, and honestly, man, I can't even say whether that was 10 milligrams that I got out of that. It didn't feel like anything. I'm sure it's real. Uh, it's just so low dose that I, you know. So God bless you guys. And in fact, I sent them an email. I'm not gonna break into my private email here on camera, but I, I sent them an email and I said, hey, listen guys, uh, no disrespect, but this is what I do. I ordered it. Uh, the, the pros with their product is it's painless. The injections are completely painless. The problem is, is for me, it's resultless too. Uh, mine, it's not as painless. Let's be real. There's more product in there. Uh, if you do a big old shot of test prop versus something or, or a testosterone that's got a whole lot of concentration in it, versus something that's thinner, yeah, you're gonna notice a difference. So, yep, there's some post-injection pain on mine. Um, it's also two, two and a half percent benzyl alcohol because of the process we use. 
I give a little wiggle room there, but that's approximately double the amount of benzyl alcohol. So there's a little bit of post-injection pain with that. So that's an advantage they have, but <laughs> you know, if you're not getting any results, what's the point? So anyway, I wrote them an email and I said, hey, if you guys want, I can supply you raw material, you know, yada, yada. I never heard back, but anyways, uh, that's to be expected. You know, it may not even be a thing that they sell a large volume of. It wouldn't really be worth their time, possibly. I don't know. Everybody's, you never know what somebody's really selling in volume. Um, let's take a quick look. Here's what I've got. You know, this is my alternative, I guess, is the topical ectosterone. So what I do is I do 25 milliliters. It's 100 milligrams per milliliter. Uh, as it says on my website here, this is topical use only, okay? So this is not set up to be injected. And that's another major drawback of mine is that you would have to, if you were choosing to go that rate, you would probably want to go ahead and micron filter that through a Wattman filter and put it into the correct uh, pre-sterilized sealed uh, bottle, okay? So that's not how it comes. It comes in a standard, as you see the little dropper top, just just topical use only so that's one of the reasons the price is what it is it's theirs is 50 bucks for 200 milligrams total you're getting 200 milligrams total so three days worth at best in my in my experience because mine i like i like to use two shots of approximately 40 milligrams okay and that's 80 milligrams a day i want that much in my system to get the maximum results from it uh, this is an entire month's supply all right, so you're getting 39 bucks, you get an entire month's supply. Anyway, there's my sales pitch. Uh, again, this is for topical use only. You would have to be a little bit of a mad scientist to do anything else with it, and that would be your business, but I cannot sell it that way. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Obviously, I could be completely biased and talking out of my ass. This is just what happened. In fact, recently I took my T2 product completely off my website. Uh, after using it and trying it and getting feedback from people, we just had a, you know, I had a couple of guys test it. I sent them some other products just in case, you know, this wasn't, you know, blowing their socks off. And sure enough, it wasn't. It wasn't blowing my socks off for fat loss. It wasn't doing as much as what we would like to see it do. Forget it. I ain't going to sell it. If I sell a product, I want it to be something that really gives you noticeable results. I'd, if not, who cares? Don't take it, right? So let me know what you think in the comments. This is my personal experience and the feedback I've gotten from a few other people. So thank you.